It was late 2009, after the successful 2006 run of Gibson Hendrix Vs. Ideas were looming in the air of another limited edition V, or maybe even his SG Custom. However, this time Janie Hendrix, the manager of Authentic Hendrix brand, wanted to partner with Gibson and do something a bit different. Low-end Strat copies made in China under a new Hendrix brand. Three packages were created, the Experience, the Signature, and Little Wing set. Neither of these ever made it to production in massive numbers due to an online outcry by fans, scorning both Gibson and Janie for ever thinking of this, but at least one prototype of each were crafted to make the demo CDs that were going to be included in these guitar bundle sets. In 2019, I tracked down and shared the story of the experience package to YouTube, which you can still view yet to this day despite many attempts to get that video taken down. You may also remember that there was meant to be a Gibson USA Hendrix Strat made, and we had these photos to prove showing many body blanks, incomplete necks, but unfortunately photos of a completed one as it would have been for sale in a store have never been made available to the general public until today. This is not the last installment installment in this video series, but an exciting step forward knowing that there is at least one out there. Let's unbox something special. Welcome back Troglodytes to your daily dose of guitar information, the Troglies Guitar Show. It's a historic day. Another installment to the whole Gibson Hendrix Stratocaster fiasco of the late 2000s. So this is not the guitar. I don't want you guys to get super excited. Don't worry, I'll show you the photos of the guitar later. But this is something else that proves the existence that these things were in fact going to be made despite being silenced online rather quickly. I mean, once again, you can check out this full video to learn more about the backstory behind these, but this is all, you know, Gibson history in the making. For the first time making it outside of the factory, I found something from a little shop that I actually purchased something from just a couple of weeks ago. Inside here, Gibson USA. But wait, what is this? Jimi Hendrix. The magnificent find that I found today is the case for the Gibson USA Hendrix Strat. This is likely either a prototype or they made a bunch of them. Because I was talking to somebody who works within the Gibson Custom Shop and the way that they do their cases is SKB or wherever they get their cases from, they'll usually send them a prototype and then Gibson will either approve or deny and ask for some changes. So seeing as this thing never made it to production, this might just be the only one. At this time, I really don't know, but there it is, official. Jimi Hendrix. Now this feels really weird. It's almost like they burnt it. It just feels like a melted material for that. So that's not how they normally do their cases. But there you can also see the Jimi Hendrix. But just wait until you can check out the inside of this beautiful case. No guitar, but check out this lining. <laughs> that's such a hot purple color. That would have been so cool. Right here, you can see how it's designed specifically for that particular guitar because those were going to be a set neck guitar with kind of a sculpting right here. So everybody's probably wondering, will a regular Stratocaster fit in here? I can already tell just by looking at this, I doubt it, but let's go ahead and try it. Got our good old trusty Trade Tuesday ending series Stratocaster here. Well, um, Yes and no. I mean, it kind of fits in there, but you can tell it definitely does not touch the bottom. The, the neck is really weird. I, not, I doubt you can even close it. Well, I guess if you're desperate, you could fit a Fender Stratocaster in here, but uh, I probably wouldn't suggest it. That is not what that is meant for. But this shape definitely corresponds to that Gibson Hendrix Stratocaster. So there's no doubt in my mind that's what this case was for. As you can definitely tell, you know how Firebirds need that huge area so their headstocks don't break off? This kind of has that similar thing where it steps down, keeps sloping, and then a further step down there for that tip of the headstock. Because when I first saw this, I got confused. If you're familiar with Gibson history, this case 
was used after this. And this is actually complicating the history of this case. Because in 2014, there was a gold version of this case called the 100th anniversary case. You'd find them in like 2014 until 2015 when they used them. It had this exact same design. But seeing as this was like a 2009-ish guitar, that means it's the Hendrix Strat that never made it to production that actually birthed this case. So it's kind of unique all on its own in that aspect as well. I mean, this handle is completely different. I mean, it feels like what would be on a regular Gibson case. It's just got the three latches. There's a Gibson USA badge right there. In the back here, that's looking the same as the uh, moldings for those 2014, 2015 ones as well. Basically, the only thing they changed is, you know, there's no more Hendrix signature on it. So now I know what you're all thinking. How, how did I find this rare piece of Gibson history? Well, do you guys remember that gig bag that I had purchased a couple of weeks ago during the unboxing series? It was that Billy Joe Armstrong signature. It had the leopard print interior. I actually found this for sale by the same shop and they also had one of those Dusk Tiger cases. So I knew I would need some sort of explanation of how I found this thing. So I asked them, where are you guys getting these rare cases from? And they said that they're getting them from a refurbisher where Gibson sends their overstock to. So it wasn't direct from Gibson. It was kind of, you know, indirectly. And that is a thing. That's where like a lot of B stocks for many companies go. They'll go to a refurbisher and then resellers buy them from the refurbisher. Just, you know, get all that stuff back out into the public. But this is the only case that I've seen. And I talked to my contacts at Gibson they just recently had this big case sell off so all of these stories are kind of working I don't know if they meant to get rid of this thing but we're hot on the trail for finding the real Gibson Hendrix strat because this is the case for it so that means one of them does exist and to end out this video I'm gonna go ahead and share something that was shared with me after I posted the original Chinese Stratocaster version an anonymous source sent me photos of what they were supposed to look like. Just as a quick recap here, this is what the neck looked like. Then we only ever had two shots of the body, like this, and one from the back that showed additional routings and a very strange tremolo unit. This is going to surprise you. This is what the Gibson Hendrix Stratocaster was going to look like. Absolutely nothing like I was expecting. I was thinking it was just going to be a regular Stratocaster with a reverse Firebird headstock on it with a Hendrix branding. This, had Gibson actually went through with it and published it, I don't think it would have been as offensive as people were making it out to be. It's kind of like a honey blonde finish over top of an ash body so you get to see all that wood grain, but instead of a pick guard, they decided to do like a motif of a mountain and you've got some clouds right here done up in purple paint. They have the standard backward slanted single coil because Hendrix was a lefty, so they wanted to mimic that onto these guitars. Fender does that with the reissue of his Stratocasters as well. But your regular five-way toggle switch right there and your three controls are also located in a very similar place with metal knurled knobs. But notice, you get the output jack on the side of this one, and what on earth is this thing? It kind of looks like that modern day Kaler, kind of like that one I had on that Somnium guitar, but there's so much room on there, they probably could have threw a piezo system on it too. Maybe somebody that's a little bit more familiar with modern day trem systems can help us identify that one further. But just a maple fretboard, I think we were all pretty much expecting that. And that weird goofy headstock, it just seems to work. Now we don't have a lot to go off of here, but if we zoom in, it looks like instead of being branded Gibson or anything, it was just going to say Jimi Hendrix up here, kind of like the one that I documented, but it did have a locking nut and they have that carve away right there, just like a Firebird did. But then you'll be intrigued to know that they were also thinking about doing it without that motif on it. So what a bizarre Stratocaster. I mean, my desire to find one of these and document them is not quite as strong now because honestly, I don't think this design is all that attractive, but I don't think it's as offensive as people were making it out to be. But I've got two more photos here. One is the backside of the headstock of one of these. They were going to be using these like mini Grover style tuners that were branded Gibson. But since the branding Gibson was not on the face of the headstock, they branded it into the back just like the Made in USA stamp. So there's at least one of these that bears a serial number and was 100% complete. And you can see its complete serial number right here. And here is the last photo that I have to share with you. Take a look at this. 
So the back was just going to be plain as well. You can see that wood grain we were talking about. But check this out, kind of a watercolored motif once again of a mountain and you've got some clouds and stuff going on. But take a look at this back control plate for the tremolo system. It's kind of interesting what they were doing here. They have the lyrics to like the beginning of Voodoo Child on here. Come to think of it, they might have actually been planning to call this the Voodoo Child because, you know, the lyrics, I stand up next to a mountain and chop it down with the edge of my hand. We've got mountains all over this guitar. So I think that solves that mystery right there. And with a name like that, of course Gibson has to make the Voodoo Child Stratocaster. You couldn't do that with Fender. Man, all of this just makes me wish this would have came to production because there's a lot of fun play on words here. So now I'm really fired up to find this prototype, if it still exists. So yeah, this is what the Gibson Jimi Hendrix Stratocaster looks like. And I now have the case for one of these that doesn't really fit anything else, but hey, it's a piece of collectible Gibson history. So the hunt still continues to find this guitar to document it, but this is, you know, we're, we're one step closer here. And I was waiting for the right moment to share these images of a complete one. So thank you Troglodytes for tuning in today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video with a friend who would enjoy it, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.